Hello, hello, welcome everybody to week three. We got our next fundamental strength and conditioning workout. We are once again using dumbbells and we got 10 more exercises, full body. We're gonna alternate between lower body to upper body exercises. So same format, 45 seconds per exercise, 15 seconds of rest in between. Three rounds total, with 90 seconds of rest in between each round. Uh, so for the warm-up, we'll go through each movement. We'll do about 10 reps each, and then we'll go into our full workout. So for these ones, we're going to use two dumbbells for these. I'm going to start out with 15s. First up is our signal squats. Okay, we're gonna go into a wide stance, toes pointing out about 45 degrees. I'm gonna rack the dumbbells just to build my shoulder, sitting my hip back and down and into the signal squats. I'm gonna work those legs, glutes, adductors. Stay upright, looking forward for these. Alright, on to our back for our second one. We're going chest flies. Then start with your arms up above the chest, arms slightly bent. Coming down into the fly, squeeze the chest muscles and bring it back up. Here I'm going to put it down, chest level. If you're feeling it in your shoulders, I'm going to bring those dumbbells lower. lunges. Basically we're stepping forward. This time we're stepping backwards. So stepping back into the lunge. Alternate. Once again keeping that upright posture. Toes should be pointing forward. Getting your knees about nine degrees. Raises working our shoulders. Okay, if you're able to keep those arms straight for that lateral raise. If that's too much, you can bend your elbows coming up like so. We're going curtsy lunge. Very similar to a reverse lunge, but we're crossing over that rear leg. Just like doing a curtsy. We'll be targeting the glutes. Alright, 
to the curtsies, we're going bent over flat. Okay, so hip back, chest down, chest flies, squeezing our back muscles. glute bridges. If you're able to, you can stack two dumbbells onto your hip or using one. Heels in. And raising our hips up, squeezing our glutes. We've got our reverse curls. This time our palm is going to be facing down. Hinging at the elbow. top here, hinging our hip back, bending at the knees, dropping the dumbbells onto the floor, tap, and up. So the goal here is to use your hips, bending at the knees, and not using our back. Tricep kickbacks. So his back, chest down, elbow up, and kicking back using the elbow as a hinge. for today. There's just some exercises you can use a different weight, especially on those upper body movements. Some you might need to use a lighter weight. What's up? Take a quick sip of water. And we'll go right into it. on the screen there. Sumo squats to start. Wide stance. Good. 
Okay, coming down, chest level. Squeezing the chest as we bring it up. Lunch next. So this time we are stepping our feet to the opposite side.
trying to reverse correct. Pots facing down. Really working on your forearms, the bicep. Triceps, kick back. One last one. All right, bent over, elbows up, kicking back. Seconds break here, got two more rounds left. Okay, we've done one round. If you need to adjust those weights, now is the time to do it. Get that hydration. So you can see probably some exercise you can go heavier with some you might need to go a little bit lighter <clears throat> I'm currently using adjustable dumbbells so I won't have much time in between each exercise to switch it up so I'm just gonna keep sticking with the 15 pounds uh, but if you also have limited amount of weights and if it's too heavy, you can slow it down or do less reps throughout the 45 seconds, no problem. Going back to the top, single squats.
Take these little squids. Last next. Hello, Khan. Welcome, welcome.
few more sets. They're just nice. Strings working. Last one and then we get to rest. That's over, that goes up. For a little rest, yes. 90 seconds of break. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Sorry not to talk to you during the workout itself. Since this is time-based. Alright, we've got one more round left to go. <laughs> Gotta focus on the workout, yes. But of course, if you have any questions, anything to do with fitness, health, feel free to ask away. 
do a lot of uh, fitness content on my channel. On Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we do lifting. And Tuesday, Thursday, we do strength and conditioning. And Saturdays, we do kickboxing. And uh, yeah, save all the follow along VODs on my Twitch channel. Start on again. Hey, that's awesome. Two years. Alright. Oh. That's tense. Just have to get those claws parallel to the floor. Full range of motion. Control, especially when we get fatigued, muscles are getting tired. Keep it there. 
Reverse curls. Let's get back. It's probably the hardest one for me. 15s are a little heavy.
Chakra. Take 30 seconds to slow it down. Whew. Shake off those arms. Shake off those legs. sip of water, wipe off the sweat. I haven't been doing this at home. I used to uh, go to a boot camp gym, kickboxing gym, and I also used to teach there, but I stopped last year in June and now I'm uh, working independently but I guess since COVID you can say I started <laughs> working out at home a lot more and I train a couple clients here as well in my uh, home gym all right we're gonna stretch it out before we end it off. Got the arm overhead. Gently pushing the elbow down, stretching the tricep. And releasing, switching arms. I started my fitness journey about six years or so. been lifting for about four or five years. And then release, left thumb across the chest, switching the shoulder. And switching arms. Yeah, starting at home is a great way to start, especially for just body weight stuff. And once you get used to that, the gym will definitely have a lot of equipment that you can use. And release the palm up, bring the fingers down, stretching the bicep forearm. Especially when it comes to strength and resistance training, having equipment is uh, super helpful. Switching arms. But yeah, I pretty much bought a lot of stuff for my home gym. Got the barbells, plates, dumbbells, kettlebells, med balls. And release. Lacing our fingers behind the back, shoulders back and down, hooking on up. Stretching the chest. $65 a month. All right, feet wide apart, bending up the hips, reaching down, I'm gonna stretch our hamstrings. It really depends what kind of uh, gym you're going at. And reach, reaching your hands to the right ankle. But I went to like a small boutique gym, so Membership is a lot more, but it's a bunch of classes that you do. So you got a bunch of coaches, a lot of group training. It's not so much a open gym where you do what you want, when you want. Walking your hands to the left. But I've never had experience with big box gyms.
Back to the center, slightly backwards. Back to the center. Come in right back up. Let's bring that right ankle back. Stretching the quad. Releasing, switching sides. And release. Bracing our fingers together, pushing forward, setting our hip back and down, reaching forward, stretch out our back. up and release. All right, that is going to do it for today's fundamental dumbbell strength and conditioning workout. We'll be back on Thursday for more intermediate complex movements and we'll be using the dumbbells once again.